If my if my wife watches this, she's gonna be pissed at me. Yo, welcome back to another vlog, guys. We are officially 18 days back on the ketogenic diet, and I have a lot to talk about. I have a lot to say because unfortunately, guys, I was wrong. And I'm gonna share that with you here in a little bit. But before we get started, guys, if you're watching this right now, you know what that means. That means that you woke up this morning, so that means that you are winning. So are you stressed? Are your problems? Don't phase you, don't phase me, because you and I are already winning. Bam, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Okay, so um, besides what's going on in my messy kitchen, guys, we're cleaning up, okay, guys? We, you, know, you see the table, you see the table. We're mopping, my, my kitchen is a mess. If my, if my wife watches this, she's gonna be pissed at me. So no one go tell my wife to go watch this YouTube video. Thankfully, she doesn't watch any of my YouTube videos. And then look at our messy toy room as well, I know. Lots going on, all right, guys. We're gonna clean up on the weekends, but it is officially meal number one. And so we got some chicken cooking up right here. We got in the air fryer using some flavor gang house seasoning. This is absolutely my favorite seasoning, guys. It goes on everything. I put it on my ground turkey, my ground beef. I even put it on my salmon, I know. And then we got our eggs right here. So we're gonna cook up meal one. And then I wanna talk to you about something that I feel that um, I didn't anticipate and I was very wrong on. So we'll dive into that after this meal. And of course, guys, you know it's only fitting that I put the eggs and chicken on a heart plate because, you know, it's, it's just to show my love, just to show my appreciation. You know, I gotta post it on the gram. Make sure you follow me on the gram, guys. And since it's been really beautiful these last couple of days here in Texas, we're gonna eat outside, guys. Let's uh, let's eat outside, let's have a conversation, and uh, it should be fun. The sun is shining, and you can't ask for a better day than this, guys. Beautiful Texas. You know, the only thing that's missing, I wish I had some chickens. That's the one thing I regret about buying a home in like, you know, a neighborhood that has an HOA. You can't have chickens. I think about my friend who has chickens make her seven eggs a day seven healthy, free range, no cage, eating bugs, eating worms, seven eggs a day. And here I am going to the grocery store every other day to buy more eggs. I played myself. So that's the only thing that's missing in this backyard. So let's talk about what I feel I was so wrong about. And I think a lot of you might be feeling the same feeling because a lot of you in the first video said you guys are doing the ketogenic diet with me. You guys are starting back, back to basics. You guys are glad that I'm back to keto and I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I'm back to keto as well. But there's one thing I did not anticipate and that's, it's hard guys. It's hard to get back on track and it's hard to stay on track. I don't know what it is. I don't know it was be, if it was because I was eating like crap for the past, you know, three, four months and it got really easy. It got, I got into this really bad habit of enjoying fast food, enjoying, you know, all like, you know, the, the, let's just be real, right? Like pizza and pancakes and burritos. Like I was eating a Chipotle burrito all the time. I was eating pizza every, you know, almost every weekend. I was eating pancakes in the morning and that's, that, it's good but it's not good for you. <laughs> Definitely my body did not respond the way I wanted to. But now that I'm back on keto, I'm definitely having a harder time staying on track. Like I find myself craving, you know, the pizza. I find myself craving when I pass by Chipotle, craving the burritos or seeing my girls eat some pancakes, wanting some pancakes. And that's where I'm really struggling the most is that my girls, you know, they, they eat a lot, but they don't always eat their foods. And so me as a father, I'm like, hey, I paid for that. I am not gonna throw that away. That is not going to waste. And so what do I do? Here I am picking a little bit of this, picking a little bit of that. That's not keto. And I can tell that's really messing me up. And it really hit hard last week. In the middle of week number two, I was doing a lot of picking, a lot of justifying this, justifying that, and it definitely added up. And so I had my check-in on week two, and it wasn't as bad, but I definitely, my weight went up. And I knew why, I knew why, right? I, I, I've been doing a lot of picking, not wanting to throw away food, 
eating food that's not on my meal plan and I was like, you know what? Like, it's a it's a hard mental battle, and I don't remember it being this hard for me personally. You know, when I first did keto, you have to understand, I was in a different mindset. I was like a animal. I was determined to lose the body weight, determined to beat this one guy, right? And I don't want to share the story again. I, if you guys are interested in the story, it's on my channel on why I started the ketogenic diet. Not having pizza didn't phase me. Seeing my wife make pasta and chicken alfredo pasta, which are like, you know, one of my two favorites, didn't really bug me. But now, it bugs me. That's another meal that my girls love. They love chicken alfredo. They love spaghetti pasta. And here I am just picking a little bit off their plate, picking a little bit off their plate. I'm like, what am I doing? I need to stop this. And so, I wanted to share this because like, you know what? If I know I'm struggling with this, I know you guys are probably struggling with this as well, especially for a lot of you who are just getting back on keto along with me and you're getting these new cravings, these new obstacles in the way that are really messing with you mentally. For me, it's really mental. Throwing away that food or not just having a little taste and a little bite, but all that adds up. And so the main reason why I wanna get back on keto, guys, is like I said, I wanna look good for the summer weather. I wanna be summer ready. I wanna be able to take my shirt off, go to the pool with my girls, go to the splash pad, go to the lakes, go on vacation, be able to take my shirt off and, and, and look the way I used to look, right? Like six pack abs, looking lean, looking great. And right now I don't look that way. And if I want to achieve that, and, and I, want, I want this motivational speech to be like if I'm talking to you, if you want to achieve that, if you want to drop those pounds, you want to look good for the summer, you want to have more confidence, you got to say no to those things. And I know they're just small. Like my girls had some chicken nuggets. They left one. What do you think I did? Oh, let me just eat that last one. Those things will add up over time. It doesn't seem like a big deal at the time, right? It doesn't say, oh, it's just one chicken nugget. Oh, it's just one little scoop of pasta. Oh, it's just one little bite of pizza. Oh, it's just one half of a pancake. All that will add up in the long term. And when the summer comes around and I don't look the way I want to look, I can go back and be like, yep, it was all those small things that added up. And so I just want to say, you guys got to stay strong. Remember why you're doing it. Remember your why. I'm trying to think about like, what did I do? I remember I was crazy back in the day. I, was, I screenshotted pictures on my phone to keep me motivated. And so I think I'm going to have to go back to that mindset, go back to that, that fire that I used to have, that passion that I used to have when I first started keto and keep those screenshots, having something that's off my diet plan. I'm like, okay, remember why. Remember why you're doing this. You want to look like this. You want to get summer ready. You're doing this for vacation. X, Y, Z, whatever the reason why you're doing it, you got to remember and you got to remind yourself that whatever you want at the moment is not as big as what you want at the end of the race, right? The end of the marathon, the end of the ketogenic, the end of whatever you're doing. It's a much bigger picture at the end instead of the small little, oh, I just got to have this. I just got to have this. You got to mentally be strong. And that is something that I was totally wrong on man. I, I, I truly thought this was gonna be easy. I'm like, I've done I've been, I've done keto for years. This is gonna be simple. I can easily get back into it. Not gonna be a big deal. And I'm struggling mentally to stay on track, to stay on point, to not veer off and have these cheap, not they're not even cheap meals, it's just these cheap bites, these cheap little opportunities. Anyways, let me know, guys. It, it, for a lot of you, like, look, that came to the first video and said you're doing the ketogenic diet along with me, you're back on track. Let me know in the comments. What are you struggling with? What are some of the things that you didn't anticipate? I know for a lot of my followers and a lot of my subscribers, you have kids, you have a spouse, you have family members that necessarily don't do the diet with you, and that can make it hard, right? Like you're over here eating eggs and broccoli and steak, and they're ordering In and Out. They're ordering, you know. Papa John's and chilies and fast food and food that's great to them. And hey, they're not dieting, so they're not doing anything wrong. You're dieting. You can't force your diet on them. But I can see how that could be a really hard mentally, right? Like you could smell that food and it's, and it's igniting all those triggers. I know it could be tough. So let me know in the comments what you guys are struggling with. I just wanted to be real with you guys. Keep it open. Like, hey, I haven't been perfect. We're on, like I said, we're on day 18. And um, I haven't been perfect. It's, it's, been, it's been a struggle, but I'm not giving up. And I just want to, you know, get recommitted and uh, stay focused. So, yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. 
So like I said earlier, it is Friday, so I got a lot of things scheduled for today. Work-wise, one thing is I have a podcast set up. So you can see my podcast set up right here. I got my coffee. I'm about to have a podcast. I want to ask you guys a question. Would you guys like me to post my podcast on my YouTube channel? Um, if so, let me know in the comments. If not, if you're just like, you know what, Logan, we just like the vlogs, we like the family stuff, keep the podcast stuff on uh, Spotify and Apple, you know, podcast um, platforms. But let me know. You know, sometimes I post them. If I have really good ones, like I'm going to post on my YouTube channel, but I want to know from you guys, do you like it or would you rather just keep it vlogs? Please let me know. Okay, guys, so I forgot to bring the memory card for my camera. Bought the camera, brought the mic. I was going to talk, film during this workout. Got here, turned the camera on, no cars, it's all good. So we're currently doing a leg day workout and it's probably better that I didn't bring my camera because I'm telling you what, the music in here is freaking loud. So you guys probably couldn't even hear and I probably would have got demonetized because of the music. So it's all good, but uh, we're here in the gym. We made it, it's leg day. Um, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna suck, it's gonna kick my ass. Uh, I'll catch up with you after the gym guys. Okay guys, very frustrating. I literally just recorded a 10 minute clip of us just talking. I got back from the gym. I'm explaining to you guys why I'm taking protein right now and yada, yada, yada. And I just found out my microphone wasn't on. So I'm going to take that 10 minute clip and try to crank it into this next three minutes. So just got back from the gym. I don't have red meat. I'm falling way behind on my meal timing. It's 7.30. No way I can eat a solid meal right now because I won't be able to have another fourth meal later on because I'll be so full. So the next best option, protein. So got some protein whey. I took, actually I didn't do this one. I did one scoop of chocolate protein, one scoop of vanilla protein, and then I used some uns unsweetened almond milk with 20 grams of peanut butter right here. And uh, yeah, so reason why I'm doing that, again, I'm falling behind on time. No way I can have a solid meal and still have another fourth meal at like 10, 11 o'clock. There's no way I'll be, I'll, I'll be too full. And then three, I need to get that protein in quick because it's just after a workout. I just destroyed my legs. I need that recovery. And the best time to take a whey protein shake is not first thing in the morning, not before you go to bed. It's going to be after your workout. And my daughter is feeding her baby some peanut butter. Because I like peanut butter, is it one with me? <laughs> Show them your nails, my love. Show them your beautiful nails that you did. Oh my gosh, my loves. You are like an expert. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys, what do you think about I that? Know, I, don't know I think she color. did a really good job. No, guys, I don't know this color right now because I don't know it. You don't know it? What don't, I don't you know? I don't know this color. The color of the lip gloss. I love peanut butter. Yeah, I love it. Peanut butter is hey, really good. You ate my baby's peanut butter. Okay, sorry. All right, guys, so that's meal number three. 50 grams of protein, 20 grams of mm, fat in here. Quick and easy, post-workout. Dad, do we even have steak? No, we don't. That's the problem. I'm telling you. We don't, we don't have you, steak. You, so one amazing problem that I just discovered this, you know, this past year for sure is that we don't have a lot of steak. Steak exists. Steak is really expensive. And every time I cook it, guess who always wants some? You and Lolo and Mommy. And they're eating all the daddy steak, which I love because I want my girls to eat steak. And little Jaxie. And yeah, we do break off a couple of pieces to my dog. Um, I love that the girls eat steak, but it's kind of costing a lot. And you know, you girls are kind of <laughs> killing my budget. <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not, guys. Guys. You should not be even saying that. Dad, where are you going? Okay, guys. Where Dad's going there, I bet he's gonna just do something anyways. Well, anyways, I'm just gonna have some peanut butter. Adios. Thank you guys for this video. Come below to our channel because we eat so much steak. Come below. below. Okay guys, so it's dinner time and I just made something like quick and easy and it's really not a lot of food, but what I have is four eggs and I cut up three little tiny like smoked sausages just to get some more fat in. So this is gonna be my last meal tonight. As you can see, it's zero carb. I have my daughter right here. I, I, I can't believe I'm gonna show this, but she is like really big on finding things on like YouTube. Crazy kids do crazy experiments. You can eat meat raw and, and eggs. 
yes, you can eat eggs raw and you can eat meat raw, but you gotta be careful. And I don't know why she wanted to do this. So she cracked an egg on one of her ramens and she's eating it. I, I know, I, I don't, I don't know. And I, I can't say nothing because Lolo is 100% me. Like she is a 100% me when I was a child. You know, you always heard that, that one saying, is it, is it nurture or nature? It is definitely nature because she has learned stuff that I never taught her that I did when I was a kid and I can't even get mad. So when she gives me a hard time, I'm just like, yep, that's what I did when I was a child. <laughs> Anyways, so um, yeah, we're gonna have this dinner guys and then we're gonna go tonight. So gotta get ready for bed. I'm also, I'm also letting her stay up late because it is Friday, so she didn't have school tomorrow. So, what do you have to say to yourself, my love? Yummy. Yummy? <laughs> That's all she wants to say. All right, guys. See you on the next vlog. We love you. Peace. Peace.